so let's turn from sunny, family friendly to <laughs> as adult as it gets. <laughs> yeah. Grand Theft Auto Three. Uh, if if you put a if you put a gun to my head as fitting for the <laughs> as, game, as I get some money as Cloud would, and ask me for you know top five games ever. I think GTA Three wow. is on wow. the list for me. Yeah, GTA Three was transformative. Released October twenty second, two thousand one. Mm -hmm. It was actually delayed slightly. It was uh, 9-11 happened. Oh, that's right. Yep. Uh, which not only caused, they they, uh, they actually made a couple of edits to the game. There was a mission mm -hmm. that was supposed to be in it that was had a, involved a small plane that was going to mm -hmm. hit a building that was yeah. removed from the game. Um, and there were also just sort of logistical challenges with Rockstar being based in New York mm -hmm. and, and that having happened. But it did release on October 22nd of 2001. Sold over 17 million Copies, of yeah. course, a PlayStation 2 exclusive at its launch mm -hmm. was later ported to the Xbox I mean, um, it, it, and uh, PC. You know, as its name, GTA 3, there was a GTA 1 and 2, but they were, 3 is really the start of what we consider the modern GTA. Era. Mm -hmm. sure, yeah. um, you know, 3D open world started the open world genre. Its influence is still being felt to this day. Um, mm -hmm. It's almost impossible to understate, or overstate rather, how important that, that game is. Yeah, um, the original two, as you mentioned, they were top-down right. 2D games. Yeah. So it just, you know, this brought you down into this sandbox world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it changed. Uh, what's interesting, though, is your main character was a non-person, right? Like a non-speaking role. And then they would immediately change that up for Vice City. And really, uh, the storytelling wasn't there in 3 yet. That wouldn't come until Vice City mm -hmm. and San Andreas. Um, but the gameplay was there, um, you know, and we're still, we're still feeling it. He yeah. had a, he had a name Claude, Claude. but it was yeah. never given in that game. It was yeah. sort of it was sort of uh, retconned later. Yeah. I like how he's got a cameo in San Andreas. Yes, oh, that's right. Yeah, um, yeah. I remember like I wasn't really excited for it when it came out. Like I, I don't know. I just it everyone, everyone, right? Yeah. yeah. And all of a sudden it came up. And I remember getting it that Christmas and being like, "This is insane! Like, how is this possible? How is it possible that a game can I do mean, this?" You could almost literally do anything yeah. in that game. There Which, was a full simulation ecosystem mm -hmm. with. You know, the wanted level and the police would come if you blew up a car, the yeah. a fire truck would come and you could take that and then go off and do and go fire put off truck fires. missions. Well, I remember people fires. being like, you can take any car, you can get in any car you want and drive. I'm like, no, you can't. And then I tell you, I'm like, you can literally get in any car you want. Like, it is yeah. insane. Uh, yeah, and, and like we've been saying, this is the game, like, its DNA exists in literally every open world game that comes out now, which is seemingly... Every other, Every game. other game, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty crazy. I mean, what's interesting is if you go back and look at GTA Three now, the world is tiny. Like it's these tiny <laughs> islands, and you can drive from one to the other in a couple minutes. But at the time in two thousand and one, it just felt so expansive and huge and incredible. Well, um, but it, you know, it's really not like it's. A, uh, it, yeah, there's, it's interesting. A design decision they evolved out of, but at the time totally worked was each of the three main areas mm -hmm. unlocked as you went. You right. started just in that sort of industrial mm -hmm. area and then unlocked the downtown and then unlocked like the hilly suburbs and they all just looked and felt very different mm -hmm. and there were of course different missions in each one. Uh, but me, I mean my experience with GTA and I'm sure I was in uh, high school when that game came out so uh, I never, I've never, i actually to this day never played the GTA 5 campaign. It was just a game that would be on at GTA parties. 3. Excuse me, yeah, yeah, GTA 3. I never played GTA 3 missions. Uh, it would just be on when I was at friends' houses at parties. Right. People would pick up a controller and see how much havoc they could cause and then just pass it around. And mm -hmm. that was my entire experience with that game. And that became really the joy of those yeah. games. And I think that that's something that's translated throughout yeah. the, year, the years. If you aren't having fun just being in that world and being yeah. ridiculous and, you know. It was the ultimate just mess around game. Yeah. yeah. We were talking about killer apps earlier with Halo, which is, of course, a launch title. And there haven't been launch killer apps really since other than Wii Sports. Mm -hmm. But for me, GTA 3 was mm -hmm. the game that sold me yeah. a PS2. I had a GameCube first, then an original Xbox. And uh, my best friend Robert had brought over his PS2 with GTA 3, and I, it just, it completely changed. The, I've yeah. never seen anything like yeah. that. You I've been playing video games my whole it, life, yeah. Yeah. and I bought a PS2 just for that game, and it yeah. was incredible. Yeah, it's interesting, uh, 2001 being the second year of the PS2 and how it had, you know, I think we're talking about three PS2 games that fall that were massive, as you yeah. know, whereas the GameCube and the Xbox were just launching, and, you know, Grand Theft Auto 3 is arguably the biggest of those three. Yeah, so you want to talk about, uh, so you could do missions any way you wanted. If you had to take someone out, you could set up on a building with a sniper rifle. You could run them off the road. Well, you could car. find a rocket yeah. launcher. You could do anything. Uh, there was, remember, there were stunt jumps hidden around. There were, uh, 
we mentioned the fire missions. You could get in a police car and go do vigilante mm-hmm. missions and do stuff in the in the police car. You could. Uh, there was the dodo plane mm-hmm. that was like sort of oh, the big yeah. Easter egg vehicle. This like plane with these little stubby wings that you could kind of get to fly for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, there were people would try to launch it from from the the first island to the to the second island. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then the. Uh, does anybody, any fellow hardcore GTA 3 people remember the, the unicorn that was the Mr. Whoopi ice cream truck? No. It was no. like super rare. You could almost never find it. I remember I eventually found one in the residential area and had to just, I gotta get this in my garage right now. Because <laughs> that was the way you held on to your yeah, cars. Right. Oh, yeah. You had to put them yeah, in your garage, yeah. otherwise they'd you know, eventually disappear yeah. and cash out of memory. So I don't remember the game's soundtrack. Did it have a licensed soundtrack? Like obviously not yeah. to the level of Vice City. That right. Was, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the yeah. Radio it absolutely yeah. had. It had, a, had plenty of stuff. And, and you're right. The radio stations yeah. were. That was another revelation. Of yeah. That you game get in the too. car. You could just flick between stations. Yeah. Laszlo. Yeah. Yep. The talk radio station. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was fantastic. You. I almost would not want to play because just because you'd miss jokes. Like I'd realize I caught the tail end of a joke, and Laszlo was so hilarious that I would want to just park and listen to. I the did radio. the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, just just phenomenal. Uh, the other thing that GTA 3 did was cause a massive amount of controversy. <laughs> a ridiculous yeah. amount of controversy. I hesitate to even say the name Jack Thompson Don't because like say Beetlejuice, it. it's yeah, yeah, it. two, two more times, times and he'll just, here, he's done. He's, he's going to be love. here. But uh, Lightning Rod for yeah. politicians and people that wanted to blame video games for society's ills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, deserved or undeserved. I mean, there's no denying that it's it's stri- like you're a person that can go around and kill cops. Like, there's no sugarcoating that. There's no getting around that. Right. But the flip side is this is a game that's rated M, and there are games that are for all ages, and there are games that are only intended for adults to enjoy, just like movies, and, you know, that's the bottom line. Yeah, remember when... Like, you know, uh, there have been various politicians over the years that seem to... They'll, they'll sort of latch on to video games for a little while yeah. and then move mm-hmm. on to something else. Hillary Clinton was mm-hmm. uh, was uh, had a had a video yeah, game fixation for a short time, days. Yeah. and I believe it was her that you know she, the, the big the, you know the sort of big one that people would latch onto uh, was the fact that you could regain your health by yeah. getting a, a a prostitute to get into your car, and then you of course you could yeah you could uh, injure her when <laughs> after the act and get your money back. GTA is a tough game to defend sometimes <laughs> for sure, but I mean. <laughs> That's the nature of the sandbox, right? Like, you have to sort of have it be open-ended and let people discover their own fun. And if people go in that direction, you sort of kind of have to accommodate that to a certain degree. Otherwise, it takes away from sort of the open-ended nature of it. It's a really terrifying sentence. Yeah. You got a, you got a darkness me, inside of you, Justin Davis. gives me some chills. You got And it's, you know, obviously GTA has gone on to become, I mean, GTA V has sold 50 million copies now. Yeah, uh, and copies. it's the same core creative team. The Hauser brothers and Leslie Benzies have stayed mm-hmm. together and are continuing to, sure. which is like unheard of. I'm going to make a prediction. Who's going to be GTA 6 someday? Whoa. Scoops. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs>